So I have been avoiding people like the plague for the longest time, like over a month now. I'm not working. I'm afraid to work. 70% of my clients fly in on a plane. There's been several times when people have flown in from out of town and I would not even call them back. That's how frightened I am. I'm in good health, but I figure it's like playing um, a game of Russian roulette. That is, you're taking a risk. Yeah, young people do get this plague. It does happen. Um, and I'm not really young, so my chances are maybe even greater. And if I'm talking weird, it's because I have a new ban bracket on my tooth and it is really hurting me because it's rubbing against my tongue because my um tooth turned when they had the, when I had the rubber band on like this it turned the bottom tooth in like that and it's it's rubbing against my tongue and I, I'm almost ready to call the orthodontist and tell them I can't take this anymore because it's very painful my tongue is getting really 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 raw and and it burns like to eat or drink anything and i'm just hoping that once my tooth turns back out it will stop rubbing because it's causing a, a lot a lot of pain right now and i refuse to take anything that's just how i am i don't take aspirin or medication unless i'm like pretty much like feel like i'm like absolutely dying like last year which leads me into the story of how these cunts are trying to infect me with their their diseases, whatever they're carrying around with their coughing. Last year, uh, somebody gave me the flu. I, I wasn't quite aware that somebody was sitting in an enclosed space. I went in to buy something from the bakery, and I wasn't aware that the person behind me sitting there in the corner was coughing. I didn't realize it until after I'd already started paying for it. Otherwise, I would have immediately left the store. I had to pay for it because I was in the process of paying for it. And I and I got I know that's how I got the flu because that's like the only person I was around that was coughing last year. That's it. There's no no way no other way that had to be it. So this year, I'm paying super close attention to my surroundings. I'm only going out when I absolutely have to, and I usually go out really early or really late. And unfortunately, today. My car check engine light came on when I came back from the orthodontist yesterday. And I had to go get my car fixed. And it cost me $300 in case you want to know. It's not guaranteed that that's it. It might be more to it. I don't know yet. But on my way home, I noticed the thrift store. There wasn't very many cars there. I thought, okay, I'm just going to hop in really quick and just grab something for the house. Because I'm trying to fix this place up and get it cleaned up. And I really needed to get this item at the thrift store because otherwise i'd be paying like a lot for this like in stores this item it's like a little see what's going on is i just had my bathroom remodeled and the floor is getting wet and i'm afraid that it's going to get inside the the flooring the new flooring and it's going to ruin it and, I, and that's not good so i had to get a mat a waterproof mat and if I, if I order it online, most likely it's going to come from China. And I don't, I'm not buying no more stuff from China. And I'm not buying any more stuff from eBay right now at all. Not even Amazon, nowhere. And I'm not going to go to the store and pay $30, $40 for a fucking bath mat, okay? I'm just not going to do it. So I thought, I'm just going to stop really quick, run in, grab a $5, brand new $5 bath. Because I have them at this thrift store. Like, they're almost brand new. $5, you know, which would otherwise cost me a lot more. And I get in line, there's like one person in front of me and one person right beside me at the other checkout. And the bitch right there starts hacking away and I, I immediately step away and walk around like at least seven, eight feet away from her to the other side where there's nobody. And I said to the cashier, I'm over here and I'm next because I don't want to be next to people who are coughing. And she looked at me like I, like I committed a crime. Like she looked at me as if who do you think you are like saying that, you know, like that's how, that was her attitude. And then the bitch, the cunt that was coughing starts laughing like it's a joke. And she was some old hag. It was mostly old hags there, you know, <laughs> you could hear the, the mucus in their, you know, when they cough. And I figure it's their attitude and the way they see the world is completely backwards i do not think that way i do not act that way if somebody said that to me i would be okay and i'd be understanding i i would totally understand right 
I would get it. I would totally get it. But they act like I said something wrong, like I insulted them because I don't want to be near them when they're coughing. That's the general attitude of people. And they think it's a joke. She was started laughing. The one that was coughing started laughing about it like it's a joke. I don't take plagues as a joke. I don't take this as a joke. And why would I want to play with my life like that if they do have something, you know, if everyone's infected and they don't know it? It's asymptomatic, okay? I don't care what propaganda you might believe, want to believe in. I don't believe the news, and I do know it, it is asymptomatic, which means you can't get it from people who are, don't feel much of anything, maybe just a cough. You don't know. And I am frightened. I have braces on. That means I have to be exposed to people like every time I go in for adjustments and I have like five or six months more to go. And I really wouldn't be doing this right now if I didn't absolutely want to get this over with because I do not want to prolong this until next year. It could be worse. I don't know what's going to happen. I may not make it through this first phase because I can't escape it no matter where I go. And with the attitudes that people have, they're all going to get infected with that kind of attitude. And you know what? I'm getting to a point where I don't give a shit because of their attitude. They, they stink. They're rotten. Their cunts are rotten. They're, they're like flies, okay? And their cunts are like dead animals. And they go around flying around collecting germs on their hands all day long and filth. And then they take the filthy bleached paper in the bathroom and they rub all the germs into their cunts and they look like dead animals. And brown and all twisted and gross and dried out and, and like dead and stinking and rotten and they don't even want to like most women don't even know what their cunts look like because that's how disgusting they are they would probably vomit if they saw it and most women don't even look because that's how disgustingly just beyond words gross people are yeah take care